another Living the Dream outdoor property. Camper Road is a 441-acre parcel in Franklin County, Missouri. As you can see, this property has it all. It has the agriculture that put the food plots in, more open spots, and it also has the timber, the timber to hold the deer on our property and not worry about them leaving to the neighbors. But how do you get around a property like this without the deer seeing you? How do you know where to set up what? And the key in an area like this is we're really going to focus on the topography. We need to look at the elevation changes that the deer crave. We need to find those flat spots through DEM shading. And we'll look at the rest of the slope angle shading on the property as well to isolate these things. And the way you dive into a property like this, and the guys at uh, whitetailplans.com do this for us extensively on aerial plans on a large scale, here's how the whitetails like to use this property for bedding. You see these, the, the pink spots are flat. The purple spots are about a five degree grade. Anywhere it's it's pink or purple on this map, we're saying it's flat enough for a whitetail to bed, but here's how the whitetail like to use it. Up here, where the cursor is, 782 feet. I drop down here, 762, 754, 735, and the bottom is 627. What happens with the north wind is these, these deer will drop over the crest of this ridge, and they'll come over to the top, and they'll set up in these lower flat spots. They're going to find the flat spots that have adequate back cover and side cover for them to be hidden. They can smell what's back here before we ever see them. They disappear and drop off the sides of these ridges and they're gone. And they also want to set up in spots where they have a nice commanding view of the bottom, what they can't smell. So in November, can a deer bed here in this spot? Can a deer bed here in this spot right here, this spot right here? and see us walking through this field trying to go to and from a stand because with a north wind, they are going to be there. Those are the questions we have to answer when we map out the property. So the process becomes identify the north wind bedding spots. Identify the south wind bedding spots. Where could they be? Here's some benches right here. Wind out of the east comes over the top, swirls. Deer can smell danger from back here. They can see down below. And this, this series of purple dots is a flat bench. Almost guaranteed deer bedding. But can you walk down this field here during daylight when those deer are bedded there without them seeing you? September, October, before leaf drop, we might be able to. November, probably not. Becoming a student of how this works in these areas means you have a better than average shot at seeing, holding, and harvesting the larger bucks that live in the areas like this. If the other neighbors in your neighborhood and you purchase this property and your neighbors aren't taking these things into consideration when they're hunting their property, they are bumping those older mature bucks off their property and those older mature bucks are going to look for a new place to live. If you take care not to bump those older mature bucks, that can be your piece of property. Let's look over here on this side. So I can see with the south wind, elevation up here, 696. Down here, it's 674. With the southwest wind, I guarantee you, we are going to bed deer on this point. We can dead, bed deer on this flat spot here on, the, on this ridge too. Here's a south ridge, multiple south ridge bedding spots. Here's a west wind spot they're going to use. Here's a north wind spot they're going to use. And it's a process. It's a process to take all these spots to put it together. But the point is, when you have a 441 acre property like this that has everything, it has the agriculture that we want for September and October to hunt bed to feed patterns. It has the ridges and the timber that the deer want to bed on to feel safe. And it has the topography that we can dissect to figure out where the deer are going to be with what different winds. Armed with that knowledge and these maps that we create, we can easily set up a plan to chase these deer all season long and never chase them off the property. For information on this property and other properties like it, Contact livingthedreamland.com.